guys, so it is two o'clock on Friday afternoon. Our house went live on the market at I think one or one ten, and we already have a showing for this evening at 5.30. So I have been running around like crazy. So I wanted to quickly show you a house tour and sort of how it's staged. If you're seeing this video, then that means that we did get the house and we've moved. Um, but I just wanted to show you maybe one last time a full tour walkthrough of our first house. So here is the front door where we come in and I'll just give you a quick sort of pan around the room. So this is our entryway cabinet, our dining room, and then the fireplace that we made, our faux fireplace, the stairs to go upstairs, kitchens that way, bathroom is there, and then um, living room is here back at the front door. So let me back up sort of give you a full pan of our house. It's a Cape Cod house, so everything is very just square. So we have living room, dining room, kitchen, upstairs with some laundry I need to bring up, and Evie's back bedroom is there, and then again, bathroom is there. So again, this is how the living room looks. We took out Lara's um, extra saucer that was there and her swing that was here just to sort of open up the room and make it feel as big as possible. So then over here in the dining room, nothing on the table except for this little bowl with a potted plant inside and then the uh, little cabinets off to the side. And over here, staircase going up to our bedroom and the nursery, which I'll show you. And then here's the kitchen. So you've seen this many times. I still have lots of um, touch-up stuff going on in this corner, but um, otherwise it is all clear. We had a, a doormat here and a stool here and I took those out just to clear, you know, clear the space. And the counters are as clean and clear as possible. And of course nothing on the counters, nothing in the sink, totally clean. And the wreath that was there is actually on our front door now. And I've cleaned all the appliances. I haven't yet cleaned the floors, but um, you guys can't really see that. That's more for showing. So for tonight, I'll clean the floors. So there's a good little view from the kitchen into the dining room and upstairs. So this is a closet also. This is our coat closet, um, which you guys have seen before. But I we had a few things, to be honest, like sort of draped over the rod here. So I just tuck that up. Uh, so I made sure that everything was on a hanger and we have all matching wood hangers and I cleared the floor Although we do have some paint there, but I can move that down to the basement Okay, so back through by the fireplace and the kitchen we came around we have this pass through to the kitchen which You guys maybe have seen in some videos then we have our door to the basement and then So gallery wall and then hallway. So this is where the chalkboard is and then our built-in linen closet that we did. We DIY'd that, opened up the wall and put that linen closet in. And then we have bathroom. This is the main bath that we use, but we do have a bathroom in the basement. So that is how it looks. Just very simple. We installed the new vanity. You guys saw or heard about that. Um, and then here's the wall with the molding on it. And a few just a decorative hand towel. And everything's nice and clean for the most part. <laughs> And then some baskets up there. And that's the bathroom. So let's go into the hallway again. Again, front door is there. So we're gonna go over to Evie's room is here. And I, again, took out as many toys as I could. Um, we moved, actually, the, there was a TV here. We moved that up to our bedroom just for staging purposes. Nothing on the floor. She had a few things scattered about, but I just have those baskets under her bed, so she does still have some toys to get to. She pulled those out. I'll make the bed so that it looks a little bit better. The closet, I actually thinned out a lot. I took a lot of shoes out and some books and there was like all different kinds of bins and things in here. So I sort of rearranged them and staged it. It's, you know, a lot of her toys now are in the basement, but um, you know, this is just for staging purposes. Sort of scattered her clothes around to make it look full, but not too full. But that is Evie's room. And then again, going back to basement, dining room, front door. So let's go down to the basement. Okay, basement. We have these on the basement stairs, duck, duck, goose, because this is a little bit high, so we don't want anyone to 
bang their head. We've had that there for ever since we moved in. So to the left is the unfinished part of our basement. You can see we I had always wanted to paint this concrete floor, but it's a huge job. You'd have to move everything out of the way. We just never did it. Um, so laundry, deep freezer, uh, extra chairs, laundry baskets, and then over here. So to the right here, when you come down the stairs, this is the finished part of our basement. Yes, it could be, you know, more clear, I guess, but we did have to move some things down here, like baby things and the rocking chair that was in the living room. So people still get a good sense of the space, I think. Um, back here is like a little nook. So here is our basement bathroom, which I don't think I've ever shown, but it's just a good, a good space. We use this shower when we were fixing up our shower upstairs for a time so that was nice to have um and then evie comes down here you know when she's playing it's nice for her to have a bathroom to use so that is the basement bathroom nice full bath for someone that would like that so that's the basement this is like a utility closet i'll just show you why not it's super messy and super cluttered right now but again same story. If we know we're moving, I can clear this out more. But true life, this is what it looks like. So we're going to go back. Here's my little desk and my chalkboard wall in the basement. So back through the laundry room. So this is our utility room, our, our storage room, I guess you could say. That's not a door out. That's just a door that we took off. So that's all my Christmas stuff that I don't know if I'm going to get to. So that is the basement. We're going to head back upstairs, and then I'll take you up upstairs. Okay, so heading upstairs, let me grab these clothes, um, we will get to our bedroom. So this is our little cozy nook where <laughs> we have our bedroom. So I know I've showed like little clips of this before, but here it is, and then... There's our gallery wall. I kept the blind down. I debated putting it up or down, but I think it looks better down and people, you know, don't have any worries about privacy or anything like that. The window is open right now because it's gorgeous outside. So that is the bedroom. Hi, Evie. Now here's my side. So directly across from our bedroom after you come up the stairs is um, a mirror and our closets, which I also thinned out uh, quite a bit, especially from Dan's side, so that people get a little bit more of a sense of it being kind of like a walk-in. I mean, it's plenty of space for us, um, but I pushed everything to the right and then cleared out what was in here so that people could see that there's, there's some bookshelves in here and some storage for shoes. And then the same thing on my side, I just made it so that people get more of that walk-in feel because to be honest, this was like a catch-all. So I have my shoes and some bins and again, I sort of split this so that it felt a little more masterful. And then over here is Lara's nursery. So you guys have seen this before, but I don't know if you really got the sense of where it is. This again is not technically a bedroom in our home so when we listed we listed it as being a den and a possible third bedroom so that was what our realtor said you know you can't say it's a bedroom but you can say it's a possible bedroom so back here next to the bookshelves is also her closet so again could totally be a bedroom it's a perfect nursery if someone was a young couple or had a young family um, could also be an office it could be a library the options are endless. So that is the whole upstairs. And then we're back downstairs. So let me just go outside really quick and show you the exterior. All right, so off of the kitchen back door, we have our little deck. So this is exactly how it was when we bought it. We haven't done anything to it. Uh, grills all covered, but here's our backyard. You guys have probably seen a little bit of this, but that's the garage. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. it. Goes back a little bit behind the the garage too. Okay, so here is the exterior of our house. Our neighbors are out, so I don't want to be too loud. But that is our cute little Cape Cod in all its glory. So, for staging purposes, I turned over the um, the mulch just so it looked better. We redid this landscaping in the spring, so it is pretty fresh. You know, anyways, everything's dead, but that's all right. So um, outside, 
we still have the crack here and there was really nothing we could do about it so that's okay um, the railing you guys uh, mentioned on Instagram I painted this it used to be all rusted and I painted it with a rust-oleum um, like rust blocking paint so that looks fantastic it was absolutely an amazing choice it was only like three or four dollars for the can of paint and I um, painted up there and then I also touched up the trim around our awning because this isn't you know it's pretty dated and it was very very faded um, so I just painted all that trim so that it looks a little bit fresher our mailbox was is red but it was a little bit dingy so I actually rubbed some coconut oil all over it and it looks so much better and it sort of like waterproofed it so that was nice I painted our front door it was pretty faded so I gave that a fresh coat of paint with a paint sample which was also three dollars <laughs> we added a kick plate which we've never had before but that was only like fifteen dollars um, and then I added in this boxwood wreath that was just in our kitchen so I didn't have to spend anything on that um, and we've had that new light fixture for a while now so that that just looked good and I touched up sort of all the white paint around the edge and that that's the front entry there that's everyone's first impression and then we go inside and this is what we see and this is our home and there's my little cutie girls all right here we are the cars are running and this is our final walkthrough it's almost 11 p.m the night before our closing so i'm going to walk you around one last time in our first house <laughs>